Hello friends, welcome back. Today I will introduce you to Cross Encoder. Last time we have seen, uh, we created embeddings for Query and uh, Corpus and then we matched them to see like uh, how the they fare well in the cosine similarity calculation and we, I mean I gave you a brief idea about uh, what the semantic search looks like and uh, how it is different than the normal keyword based search. Now, uh, when you use uh, this mechanism to uh, perform query answering or searching documents, then sometimes you may not get that much accuracy which you would expect. So here on top of that, you can use cross encoder. I would uh, show you briefly with example that uh, what would be the benefit of using cross encoder. So uh, here, uh, this is the code example using the cross encoder. Now here we are taking some packages like sentence transformer and uh, from there we are using the cross encoder. Uh, here you can see like uh, this is the query and these are the answers. So this is a, in this corpus, uh, we can consider like uh, this is the, as a question, how many people live in New Delhi? And then we have these sentences. Few of them are completely wrong, some are closure and some which we consider as the best correct answer like I consider this as the best and correct answer compared to the second one these we know like this is the same sentence now uh, here this I am loading uh, this uh, BERT based uh, bioencoder model that is all mini LM L6 V2 this is the same model we used while I explained you earlier the semantic search along with cosine similarity and dot product here we are again calculating uh, embeddings for uh, the answers and the query both. And uh, here this uh, this one which shows incorrect answer. The here the thing is like uh, we have calculated cosine similarity for each answer and query, and then we are uh, printing the score. So uh, these are the different, uh, you can say their uh, matching score, but this value, this is uh, 0.98 is the highest cosine similarity score and that sentence is this one, the third one. So this, if you see uh, like uh, embedding similarity wise, then this sentence matches very closely, but it does not answer the question in our case. Now we will uh, do same experiment with the cross encoder. Here we are using this MS Marco model which has been uh, trained as cross encoder. Now here if you see then the first uh, answer has the highest matching score that is 9.91 and uh, here like as I told you, this is what I consider as the correct answer and you would see like, uh, so uh, this is the benefit of using cross encoder here. I will show you uh, the difference of architecture between bi encoder and cross encoder. So left side we can see this is bi encoder and right side we see this is cross encoder. I mean bi encoder what we are doing that uh, we send a uh, both the sentence and we in generate embedding individually for both the sentence like uh, embedding would be generated on left block for sentence A and on right block for sentence B and then we are doing um, uh, cosine similarity calculation on top of that and then we are making a decision based on the cosine similarity score. Compared to this in cross encoder we are sending both sentence together. And here in this uh, we are doing the cross attention calculation and on top of that we are using classifier which gives us either 0 or 1 like 0 means did not match 1 means match kind of a label this is just an example diagram so uh, here actually uh, when the cross encoder is trained it is trained normally using uh, the Sim different data set like uh, similar sentences and uh, based on that cross encoder models are normally trained but the key difference the reason why we are not using it uh, beforehand like uh, earlier I showed you uh, here for example 
the process of a search where here we do re-ranking. So you may ask the question like why don't we use the why do why do we need to use re-rank? So here at re-ranking we can use cross encoder. And the second question may be why can't we use cross encoder directly instead of using here the first search getting the candidates using by encoder and then doing using cross encoder because cross encoder is very computationally expensive process where you have to every time per perform attention calculation and if you do it uh, when you send both the sentences and then perform the re-ranking related calculation using cross encoder then the quadratic complexity becomes the processing level for that calculation so it goes quite high so you cannot uh, in the real time systems you may not be able to get uh, that much computation to provide a response quickly so that is why it is better that first you use by encoder type mechanism and uh, decide certain number of uh, pairs or certain number of uh, you can say uh, filtered list of answers and then you compare them and apply cross encoder on top of them and then you do kind of a re-ranking with cross encoder then you could get a better result so this is how you can set up your pipeline and get a better result along with uh, what you can say performance efficiency as well if you have any questions please uh, ask in the comments and if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you